about one and a half weeks ago, I made logs ready all around the floor. But then heavy rain forecast helped me take it all away again and put on a roof. Which is actually quite interesting because it gives me a feeling of how it's going to look like when there's an actual roof on. I'm building a log cabin, or actually we're building a log cabin, but I do most of the work. After excavating the soil by hand, and a bunch of days with a rock drill as I didn't know there was a big rock in the middle. I gathered a few stones from the land and built a foundation. Plus pillars for the terrace. Then for the first time working with a chainsaw, I felled some trees for the main construction, then pushed them out of the forest, debarked them and built the main frame. And after that the roof. Then a wine bottle stone wall, a beer bottle stone wall and my first cordwood wall. Rain can be a pain in the butt. I also want to say, I, I, when I work with cement, I use these latex gloves and they work really well, but apparently a bit of cement or lime came into the gloves and... How? Cement wounds are real. Okay, so now I, before I decided to make the roof, I took away the wood here on the floor. So before continuing, now I have to put it back. So for the first half, I'm going to use only wood and after that I am going to continue with the bottles and I want to make a shape goes here, up, goes up uh, to the middle and then down a little bit so half I can just continue with the wood after that I need to make sure that I choose the right size as wood to get that shape in it before I start with the bottles. Maybe this sounds stupid, but I'm always procrastinating starting the first layer with cement because once you start with cement, there's like no way back. I mean, I, there is a way back. Like with a grinder, like I did there, but you don't want to go that way. So, uh... Anyway, let's just begin. then hit the bell icon if you want to get notifications of future videos.
The advantage of this weather is the cement doesn't dry so fast. The disadvantage of this weather is the cement doesn't dry so fast. What I mean is that um, advantage is that I don't have to like rush really fast, but the disadvantage is that when I do one layer and I want to do the next, I have to wait longer till the bottom layer dries because if I don't, then the cement on the bottom will not hold and will go out before it dries. You might remember from the last video, the original plan in the corner was to take a half size and then go with the cement from here in the corner to here so that I could still see a little bit of the post. But as this will also have to go here then, I will probably only see this little strip. I don't think it's worth it. So now I've decided to take a full length and then it will in the corner look like this. And it will also be very nice. I have in total one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten posts. So I can have two corners a little different. I like this too. Okay, so the first layer is in and I wanted to show you, look at that. So beautiful with the clouds or fog in the back. <sighs> Can't stop looking at it. In the next minute or two I'd like to talk about something different. So if you're just here for the building videos, be my guest to just skip this. Um, I'd like to talk about mental health. The last video I talked about Lee McMillan, also a van lifer who committed suicide. And it's really affected me last week. Uh, I think it's because we have a lot in common. We both put our lives on the internet and we both have to deal with similar things. And besides that, we are both, I would say we're both in the top 20% luckiest people in the world like i i live the life of my dreams i have above average wealthy parents i'm from a prosperous country where i was born um but still also i have dealt with mental health issues for the majority of my life and often still and i feel like after this happened i should also open up about this because maybe there's someone watching who is going through the same or has been going through the same and <clears throat> is like well if he is also going through the same then it must be normal so i have a tendency to drink away my um problems and 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 it, it especially happened after a certain time in the youtube game where the comments and everything became uh, a little much and then it started to become five days a week at least a bottle of wine a day and I don't know I never opened up about this because I you know it's nothing you 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 like to talk about and and uh, after this happened to Lee I have decided to uh, not drink alone anymore and only in in company 
it's a lonely lifestyle this sometimes and um, it can be pretty harsh and even though it looks so great from the outside it definitely isn't always and I just want you to know that if you are going through similar things you're not alone let's continue with the building videos So that only took me like one and a half hours to uh, decide which wood I wanted on the second row. I, wa I wanted it to look like tranquil, you know, like peaceful, not too crowded, too busy with, with a lot of small pieces or something. Did I do a good job? Okay, I'm gonna continue tomorrow. Now I'm going to prepare them. Before I start today's video, I want to thank you guys all for your plants and flower ideas for my garden here in the forest where I am now with Jippy. If you wonder why he's leashed, there are bunny hunters here and well he kind of looks like a bunny. This is the common juniper which is growing wild in the forest and could actually be replanted as a hedge. Here is another one. Here is, no this is, this is a different one. Um, here is another one, but this is a big one. I will never be able to replant that. Uh, but like this one here, this small one, this uh, could be replantable. Uh, the second thing I want to say is I want to thank you all for, I feel like my channel is becoming more and more a, a place for like-minded people. Uh, people who want to be positive, who uh, are adventurous and uh, yeah, I like that. Back to the plants, um, I, I, I do need to choose something that I don't have to come back for every like three months because my plan is still after this to hopefully in December to go back to my van in Argentina, drive to Alaska, if I have the money then buy a boat and then continue sailing. Um, yeah, so I really like a lot of your ideas, the citrus tree, the um, olive tree, uh, I, I, I will probably first do something just to just to cover the wall and then I'll definitely I definitely want to look in those options they are cool all right let's continue building <laughs> pretty well right if you wonder how long that took I started today at 10 to now so four hours 
Um, I don't know if that's slow or fast, I'm guessing it's pretty slow. <laughs> Well, choosing these logs went a lot faster than choosing the second layer of logs. I guess practice makes perfect. Someone once told me, once you build a foundation, everything goes really fast. Well, I'm not really noticing a lot about that, but uh, it definitely is more rewarding than building a foundation. <laughs> I got further today as expected. Tomorrow a few more pieces of wood and then bottles. Yeah. Good morning, it is a beautiful day and I'm ready to continue and the sun shines so it's really hard to see it right now and I found out this morning it is four and a half years ago that I uploaded my very first YouTube video and actually watched some of my old videos and well let's just say I definitely improved a bit wonder how my videos look in four years from now uh, I remember thinking at that time like after a year or something I'd probably make a thousand dollar a month well after four and a half years I still don't make a thousand dollar a month by far but anyway as long as I can survive I am happy uh, yeah that's about it let's start So now I'm going to decide which wood to put on for the shape to continue the way I want it. I think that this is going to look really nice. It's going a bit up and down and up and down and up and down. Yeah, that's what it's going to be.
we're getting there. I have to say, I'm really overwhelmed with all the massive, great responses I've been getting from all of you guys on my last video. And there's one comment that really stuck to me and I'd like to read it. And it said, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words can never hurt me. I think the point is, if someone throws a brick at your arm and breaks your arm, one really has no control over that. But if someone says something mean, we can choose to take it in and let it, let it wound us or we can throw it back to where it came from and never think about it again. Throw them back. I, I really enjoyed that sentence, so... Uh, Alright, let's continue. So the reason why this wall is taking so long is because it's the widest of all and there's also no window or door frame in the middle so I need to fill up more. Today I'm gonna have to finish the video. I'm not gonna be able to reach all the way to the top but I'm going to finish all the bottles and then for next week's video I will definitely have it finished and hopefully I'll also have at least half on this side and also I need to figure out how to make that corner nice because that also I haven't done before. So on those hills, uh, logs will come. That's the idea. Uh, let me just show you what we've done until now. All right, thank you for watching and I will see you next time. A big thanks to my patrons who make it possible for me to keep making these videos. If you'd like to become a patron too, check out the link.